honestly, Vicious Jeremy's best defense right now is to get out of dodge as best as possible. Avoid all possible conflict with his own brother as best as possible. But then again, it's 2 nothing. He's got one pinfall and one submission on his own brother. There's 13 minutes left. It's still the same match, damn it. It's still the same match, and I cannot. I, I, I've never seen this before, ever in this business. Look at this. This is this. Honestly, I think this is this is the passion of vicious Jeremy right now. Look at this. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm outside the ring. There's no point. Let's see. Let go of his arm, man. There's no point. You're going to break your own brother's arm. Is that what you want to, is that what you want to do? You want to break your own brother's arm? Well, mission accomplished. Let's see. You did it. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second, oh! Well, that was honestly the best you could ever do. Momentum shift, and even that didn't do anything. Unreal. This will, this will definitely slow down the match, fans. This, this, the stamina, the stamina loss right now that vicious Jeremy has is going to change the course of the match. Eleven and a half minutes, and it's still two nothing in favor of Decay Wyatt. Oh my God! Oh, oh shit! Vicious Jeremy's body just completely flip-flopped its way. Oh my god. Desperation back body drop. That's all that BJ can do at this point. His sound is freaking empty. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh my god. This is sad, man. I cannot, I cannot believe we're seeing this. Fuck's sakes, man. <sighs> well, that's that, that's it for me then. Fuck. That's 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 it. It's game over. It's three fucking nothing, man. You got your fuck. You made your fucking point. It's three nothing. There's no point in continuing on this match. Might as well just forfeit the entire match completely. How on earth will Vicious Jeremy manage to bounce out that out in like nine and a half minutes? That should have been a that should have been, that was a submission right there, Esty. That's a fucking submission, man. This is so fucking stupid. Like seriously, I don't, I don't know what's going on here, but it looks like Vicious Jeremy is getting a he's getting screwed here. That's what I'm seeing, man. I'm, I'm seeing that right before my very eyes. That is how how is it even possible? That second victory, whatever the hell it was, that was a rope break, 
The referee was the referee didn't even see that. This is like the Hardys and Cesaro and Sheamus. It's exactly what it is. It's screwed. Eight and a half minutes remain on the clock. Oh, that was beautiful! In mid move, the spear. One, two. This is fucked up. This is fucked up. For nothing. Wow, I am I am amazed. Five nothing. Yeah, mine as well. Sorry, Jared. Easy there. Well I can't continue this match. There's no point in continuing though. I forfeit the match. I forfeit. Alright, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, something out of the norm has happened. That was by far one of the most brutally, like, I'm talking brutal. Iron Man matches I've ever seen in my life. Vicious Jeremy taking a huge beating from his brother, but I guess that has something to do with that I Quit match that happened at Blood, Sweat, and Tears because if Vicious Jeremy got the best of that match, the KY had the best of that Iron Man match, fans. I'm telling you, Vicious Jeremy had to forfeit the match completely. I mean, the match didn't even continue. There was about eight, uh, six to eight minutes left of that match, and Vicious Jeremy just couldn't continue. It was like five nothing or six nothing, something like that, and it was like absolutely atrocious. I've never seen Vicious Jeremy get a beating that bad before, ever, in fantasy pro wrestling, ever. And that was like a cross-brand match, too, because the K.Y. Wyatt was from No Mercy Hardcore Wrestling, this is Jeremy from the Fantasy Pro Wrestling brand. All I can say was that that was a brutal and tough match. That was a big, tough match for Vicious Jeremy. Anyways, in the end, ladies and gentlemen, the K.Y. Wyatt is the winner, even though we've never seen his, his arm raised. That was a forfeit. I don't know what this means. I don't know what this means for Vicious Jeremy. I don't know if he'll come back in the ring and apologize or whatever, but during his interview with uh, Rick Rocker moments ago, Vicious Jeremy said that he was ready and he's going to do whatever it takes to stay on top of the game and even drive his own father, Stonewall, to Montreal for that surgery. But now I don't know what's going to happen anymore. Vicious Jeremy just ran away. He's not even in the building anymore. He left the freaking building. And probably in disgust. He hasn't scored a single fall in that match. And I'm telling you, something happened in that match that was a complete screw job. The second fall that the KY had scored, apparently an instantaneous submission. But from my angle, I saw a rope break. That shouldn't have never happened. That that, that, that that score should have never happened. If you saw the Stanley Cup playoffs, and it was a game between the Penguins and the Sens at one point, there was a score that happened, and it never hit, and it actually was deemed a, a no goal. That's exactly what that was. It, that was a no goal, but unfortunately, this game doesn't see it that way. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get back to what's really happening right now, and this is the Wet and Wild contest for the FPW Women's Tag Team Championship.